Hi friends! Today we are covering the Suku 2022 Global Summer Collection. A huge thank you to Suku for sending me a partial collection like they did with pre-summer 2022. This launches on May 13th on Selfridges. Because the collection goes live in the UK, they're in the future, which means midnight 1am here is when you'll see the products live on the Selfridges site. Usually the collection becomes available in Harrods and Liberty London a little bit after, so <laughs> but we'll cover these pieces today swatches demos product descriptions all the things and if it's your first time here hi i'm alicia an online coach and teacher of movement and lover of beauty especially suku a luxury japanese brand and if it's your first time encountering suku it is a luxury japanese brand they are just known for their sophisticated textures and intelligently curated color stories and for this summer collection definitely more of a warm approach to the color story versus pre-summer we saw a little more color and vibrancy but soft right as the collection was inspired by sea glass so we saw a lot of violets and blues but translucent like in terms of the finish delivering that glistening effect much like how you would experience when the sun hits the ocean and that shine that creates this is giving us a little bit of heat with suku's limited edition 2022 global summer collection inspired by the heat of the sun and centered around blazing orange and red use this bold yet wearable collection contains everything you need for a sun-kissed look infused with fine pearl particles and light reflecting shimmer it delivers a touch of the summer sun in every product so this is basically the sun breathing collection <laughs> I'm not saying it because Suku's Japanese. I'm just saying it because the color story based on how it was described here with Tanjiro's sun breathing, red and yellow hues, you know, that's the vibe I was getting. We have 12 pieces in all, two signature color eye quads, two melting powder blushes, in pre-summer, we had the pure color blush formula, which is a powder, and this we have the melting powder blush formula that released in february it was january i remember because it was my birthday and i like bought all the shades that was a very expensive gift to myself the first melting powder highlighter two sheer matte lipsticks two moisture rich lipsticks and three nail polishes first up we have the signature color quad 115 in anka a delightful combination of deep orange brown and luxe gold with a pearlescent finish this quad retails for 55 dollars and you have have the magnetic closure with the beautiful gold seam here the black lacquer compact suku engraved here on the front very simple in design but just beautiful all around we have our pink shade and gold shades here here is the pearl pink or i guess that's more like a coral and there's the gold i said pink but it definitely is more terracotta leaning that is a gorgeous shade very smooth on the consistency the gold shade takes on a little more of a veil color effect so you have more of a satin finish from that coral terracotta shade and more of a veil shimmer from the gold one next we have this more copper satin shimmer and of course the terracotta matte shade Ooh, that is gorgeous oh my goodness this definitely reads summer and i know more monochromatic than what's found in the pre-summer quad that i have from pre-summer 22 and the second signature color quad it looks to be more cool all around there's a pink shade what looks to be like a plum brown a violet and a and teak gold that's just judging from the photo will i buy the rest of the collection i'm not entirely sure i think i have to see more photos to decide but this is right up my alley absolutely next we have the melting powder highlighter this retails for 44.50 a limited edition highlighter that delivers sunshine inspired brilliance with ease composed of two complementing shades blended imbued with pearl particles for a natural looking radiance the melting powder formula is 
one of the most unique textures I have in my collection that I have ever experienced. It has a moussey creamy texture in the pan but it applies like a powder but it's emollient without being too slick on the skin or too dewy in terms of the finish. It fuses with your skin, leaves behind a beautiful color and it is a little more pigmented than the pure color blush formula which I also love. I think that powder is just so finely milled and doesn't look powdery at all when applied but the melting formula oh my goodness 101 kai geru an exquisite combination of bright peach gold and natural bronze Ooh, this just feels so beautiful look at that look at how smooth that is the shine is really outrageous and I'm happy they went a little warm. I know this is not going to be suitable for all skin tones, but nice to see the one highlighter that they have is suitable for medium to deeper skin tones because Suku being a Japanese brand and when you look at the demographic, is is mostly light skin tones in that country. But for them to release a shade that's warmer overall, much more so than a lot of highlight shades they already have in that collection, thank you so much. Next up, we have the Melting Powder Blush, also retails for $44.50. We have 101 Hotelio, a deep orange with a hint of red for a bold summer look. Also, limited edition, this is, oh, look at that shine, oh my gosh. This is more of a burnt copper shade. Oh yes, oh yes. If you were wondering, I also pulled out shades 06 and 08 from the original Melting Blush collection. This is 06, which is a little more coral, I believe. Next to 101, which I feel is more burnt orange. So you see, you detect a little more coral from that shade. 08 is more muted. Compared to the other shade in the collection, 102 Natsuke, the terracotta beige, limited in terms of skin tones that it can be used for. It looks to be like a sculpting shade, but only suitable, I think, from light to medium at the deepest that can show up on. This is 106, and it's more, again, muted but it has more brown there. So if you're around my skin tone, but you wanted that same terracotta beige and you already have 08, then you might want to stick with this one instead of the new shade 102. But because my curiosity sometimes can feel overwhelming and leads me to bad decisions, I might try 102. We shall see. Next, we have the Sheer Matte Lipstick. This retails for $37.50. It only comes with the lipstick component and the cap. The actual cap is separate, so you will have to purchase that if you don't have a cap already, just, I guess, to save on materials. The shade I have is 109 Psyche, a rich, crisp brown for a sophisticated finish on any look. Ooh, this has... A little bit of warmth in there yeah so let me place it right here okay that takes on a little more of an orange hue but that is 109 because 108 is that vibrant orange so this is the more subdued approach in terms of color out of the two shades and lastly we have the moisture rich lipstick this is in the shade one, two, three. A different component here. You have the gold seams in the middle, shiny all around. This feels more luxe than the sheer lipstick component, even with the cap. The cap takes on the same brushed plastic look as the base, but this you have the black shine all around. And this color, ooh, super corally bright. Again, one, two, three, Shakuka, a bright and fresh color with high shine. 37.50 as well. So this has more of a gloss effect, but that's pretty. Let's apply it, shall we? I had to bring you in a little closer. Here is one, two, three, Shakuka. The texture for the moisture rich lipstick is so beautifully creamy, has lovely glide and silkiness when applying. And although it feels like a bomb, the color that's left behind, I think very much appropriate for summertime. If you don't want that wham bam color on your lips, but you still want shine, a little hint of color. Again, that's very much appropriate for the season to give the complexion some life. You'll slap on some blush, 
call it a day. But I gravitate towards these types of formulas where there's color, but not so much. It reminds me of Pat McGrath's Divinals. It has a little more slide to it. It just feels amazing. So again, this is one, two, three, great color. You see the bullet and you're like, oh no, oh no. But this is what's left behind just enough and here is 109 Psy K the rich crisp brown this definitely has a little more orange which I think not only appropriate for summer but for fall reminding me of the colors that released when the sheer matte lipstick collection dropped first in the Suku brand these rich terracotta browns the plums I mean there are a range do I have this is the one I have the shade Yes, this is the one, 109. It reminded me of 109. 109 has a little more orange there. And I think this is, uh, compared to, this has a little, well, maybe this has a little more orange. This has a little more red. So if you have 102 from that collection, it's a similar feel. This definitely has more of a burnt orange look to it, but I enjoy the color. It's not, in your face. And the sheer matte lipstick formula from Suku, unique in that yes, it's matte, but because of the sheer finish, you don't feel obligated to color in the lines. You could be a little more reckless here with the application. And again, it doesn't overwhelm the lips. It's not overly pigmented, it's just enough. Definitely not as pigmented as Lisa's Velvet Lipsticks, but I think you know, depending on your mood, if you go for the velvets, that's a lot of color. You have to definitely stay within the lines or else it will be quite obvious that you're a little messy. But the sheer matte lipstick has beautiful glide, silky on the application, very easy to apply. And again, although matte, soft on the lips, not drying at all, comfortable to wear, creamy. You know, Suku lipstick formulas like their blush ones outrageous. I don't know how they manage to create a formula like the sheer matte lipstick one. One of the best matte lipstick formulas out there, okay? It's not transfer proof, okay? If you go smooching, this is going to end up on the smooched, all right? It'll have some transfer on the mask, but the color that's left behind will still be present and it won't look dry or uneven. And remember, if you don't have a sheer lipstick cap, you can still, you know, get away with this. It will have a color for the bullet, but if you actually want the cap, this is how the entire component looks like. You will just get this in the mail and of course, pop it on and there you have it. Melting powder highlighter. Here we go. I'm curious to find out how this will apply with fingers because again, the texture is so creamy. It just has a lovely feel. And you know, we're gonna dab -de dab dab Oh yes, this has like a golden look to it for sure. Turning off my light because I, th I want you to see the color better. But this definitely has more of a golden hue. There is some highlight on me, but if you're my skin tone, it's not going to be that medium beige highlight. It definitely has more gold to it, but I love it, okay? You could, if you want, apply a little lower so that golden hue can rest on the apples of your cheeks, but still deliver that radiance. Let's try a brush. This is my Tonsetto brush, whisking it here over the cheekbones and as suspected, just a beautiful effortless application. The way the texture just glides on the skin is simply gorgeous. Ooh. And I turned the light back on just so you can see the effect it has on the highlighter. You can see there's a little more reflectivity, but the finish is still very soft focus in effect. Now we go in to 101 Hotelero, the deep orange with the hint of red. This shade, oh my goodness. Same brush here. Nice, whoa, beautiful pickup. I'm gonna swirl and twirl and combining it with the with the melting powder highlighter. Oh my goodness. This is definitely coppery, orangey. I mean, the color description and mood created by these shades. 
Suku nailed it. I definitely would find myself wearing the shade more so than the pink one that was in the summer 2022 collection, which I understand why there are two different color stories. When you think about the summer season, you have the earlier part of the season, that crispy spring air is still present, it's not quite as hot, but then you get to the July, August part of things, even a little bit of September here on the East Coast, it could be hot. And with that said, I, I understand why Suku went with these hues, especially here with the color of this blush. Wow. Getting into the shadow, popping on some Linda Helberg. Again, here are the shades. And yes, we have these somewhere in our collection, most definitely. I understand that the Suku eyeshadow formula takes on a unique experience where the blendability is unparalleled. I think suitable for all makeup levels, especially the beginner, where the formula itself blends on its own. It does the work by itself. You don't need a ton of manipulation from your part. A soft brush will do whether it be synthetic or natural. You can slap these shadows on successfully without a hitch. First with the pink coral shade, and I'll begin with a flat brush taking this color across the lid. Oh, and that's just gorgeous. It has such nice shine without being overly sparkly or glittery. There is a place for that, absolutely. But the simplicity of Suku shadows, I think what makes up the appeal in terms of people gravitating towards these textures in that they're effortless, they're easy to apply, but again, the color is lovely and the ease of blend makes it appropriate for you to wear these shades as one and done eye looks. See that? See that? And now we'll take the more gold color here, which again I described during the swatching. It doesn't have the same color impact as the two shimmer metallics here, but it has lovely veil scatter effect where if you want it, you can use your finger and just dab a little bit of the gold on the center of the lid to create more brightness there. And now with this beautiful terracotta matte, the mattes from Suku are just beautifully smooth. Same with their shimmer metallic. I say shimmer metallic because I can't quite identify the formula. It's not a super shiny in your face metallic, but it's not subtle like a satin either. So I guess a shimmer, huh? Beautifully creamy, easy to apply. Again, like I've said, we've seen these shades before, but to have this level of warmth in one quad, it's very nice. And I'll take a little bit of that matte here on the lower lash line, picking up this burnt copper shade and placing it on the lid. What a lovely color. My goodness. I'll take the pink here on the inner lower part of the lash line for some contrast. I'll pick up the gold in the same manner. We'll apply this as our inner corner highlight of choice as we did with this side, putting a little more. Why don't we swipe some here on the brow bone on both sides? All right. Let's apply some lashes and I'll be right back. Again, a huge thank you to Suku for sending these items. And I, listen, these are my shades. You, These are my shades. I'm not sure if I have posted my summer terracotta video before this one, but you already know my love of burnt hues, burnt peachy terracotta hues. And this collection embodies that vibe to the fullest. What impressed me the most, I feel, is the lipstick because I'm very picky with lipstick. It's hard for me to leave the beigey browns within that realm of shade to wear something this orangey brown. I feel is a nice escape and paired with the shades in the collection, especially the melting powder highlighter, which the golden hue is just perfection. And the texture, outstanding. Both the highlighter and the blush are the melting powder formula and the way they fuse together to create just this beautiful golden orange gradient on the cheeks is fantastic. What more can I say? And the quad colors, yes, 
I'm sure you have these shades in your collection, but I love that they're in this one quad. I know if, hypothetically, if I were to go off somewhere summery for vacation, okay, I would totally just take this quad because in those environments, you're not really thinking about makeup anyway. You just wanna get out doing something different than you usually do on the daily basis. But if you do slap something on, I think it aligns with your location, with the environment, and if it's somewhere summery, sizzly hot, then of course these shades will come in clutch to deliver that same mood. And the textures themselves make it incredibly easy just to apply with one swipe. As you saw, you don't need 300 brushes to apply these shadows. Even if it's a shader brush, you'll use one side to apply the shadow on your lid, turn the brush on its side so you can smooth the edges. And again, the shimmer formula in here has great emolliency and slide where the buff looks smooth and doesn't look too glittery scattered, which I think people might feel the need to go in with a matte, but you don't necessarily have to do so. And with that, the simplistic minimalist approach when it comes to suit makeup I find what's so appealing about it in in addition again to its sophisticated formulas and color stories and why not let's see how this looks with the moisture rich lipstick because that was the more matte here is the shiny oh that's pretty wow this is a great color look at me I don't wear these colors often but oh, they're just so good so pretty. Again, this collection drops on the 13th. I would like to have this video up before then so you could take a look at least partially at the collection, see what might catch your eye or not. My affiliate links will be down below. Of course, your consideration is always appreciated, but don't feel obligated to use my shop links. These items will be available on Selfridges and Harris and Liberty London, it said on the press release on the 13th as well. So the time though, I don't know. If you want to secure your items, I would email Beatrice who works at the Suku counter in Selfridges. And I'll make sure to leave that email down below. She is fantastic in just helping with choosing shades and comparing the newer shades with the ones that already exist in the Suku collection. So if you really have your eye on certain pieces that you saw here and you don't want to wait on when they'll become live because you really don't know, then reach out to a Suku rep and they'll take care of you. I'll see you down in the comments, fam. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial, Suku Extravaganza, monthly favorites or vlog. Take care and I will see you again soon.